2020 has been heavily defined by the COVID-19 pandemic which has led to global social and economic disruption, mass cancellations and postponements of events, worldwide lockdowns, and the largest economic recession since the Great Depression of the 1930s. This global pandemic has forced everybody to stay at home and embrace the new normal. But Evanescence isn't letting the coronavirus pandemic slow them down when it comes to releasing music all throughout the year. Let's look back at Evanescence's greatest highlights for the year 2020. Evanescence started the year with the release of the music video for the cover song, The Chain. The Chain is a song by Fleetwood Mac that Evanescence covered for the video game Gears 5. The teaser trailer containing Amy's voice was published on September 5, 2019. Amy was initially invited to record a short version of the song for the trailer as a solo project but then she saw the dark cinematic direction the producer was taking with the production which made her want to record the full song with the band. According to Amy, quote, the lyrics makes me feel the power of standing together against great forces trying to pull us apart, perhaps even from the inside. I really wanted to drive that home in our version. End quote. Though it was said that the cover song will not be included on the Bitter Truth, Target and Japanese edition of the album include it as a bonus track. 2020 also saw the collaborative side of Evanescence's Amy Lee. Amy Lee was first featured on Body Count's song When I'm Gone from their new album Carnivore which was released March 6. The song is about Body Count's vocalist Ice-T losing his friend Nipsey Hussle after he was murdered in 2019. As of recording, Body Count's Carnivore is considered as one of the greatest metal albums of 2020. It was also in January that Evanescence have officially entered the studio to record their new album, The Bitter Truth. In an interview with Amy, the band will record three songs with producers Nick Raskalinix, work with other producers on other songs, and release one song every couple of months before releasing them all and the rest of the tracks on one full album. The Bitter Truth is Evanescence's fifth studio album that is set to be released on March 26, 2021. It was also confirmed that the new music will go back to its rock roots and that they've got some ideas in the bank including previous songs that didn't make it to the self-titled record and synthesis. It was also in late January that Amy Lee confirmed that she will be performing with Wagaki Band as a special guest at their orchestral show at Osaka Jo Hall, Japan on February 16, 2020. Accordingly, they will be performing a new song together for the said event. Wagaki Band is a Japanese band that plays rock music with Wagaki, traditional Japanese musical instrument. Amy Lee and a couple of band members of Wagaki Band met in the Evanescence Synthesis live show in Los Angeles last September 8, 2018. During the orchestral show of Wagaki Band in Osaka, it was reported that they wrote a new song together but wasn't able to perform it live. But Evanescence Amy Lee 
and Wagaki Band perform Bring Me to Life with traditional Japanese instrument in a song Senbon Sakura, which was sung in Japanese. It was in February 2020 that Voice from the Stone director Eric D. Howell has hinted that Amy Lee is involved in the project The Revolution of Cassandra, a graphic novel based on Eric's screenplay of the same name. The Revolution of Cassandra is an independent, multi-volume, full-color graphic novel based on an award-winning screenplay about two sisters who follow their hearts and create a revolution that changes their world, an action romance with female protagonists. It was also this time that Evanescence was supposed to play on different festivals which includes Full Soji and the Festival in Mexico, Download Japan, and Sonic Temple Festival, which was later cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Fast forward to February 28, Amy Lee confirmed in an interview with Loudwire that Evanescence have recorded four songs with producers Nick Raskalinitz and that a new song will be released before the band began with their World Collides tour with With M Temptation in April. It was also announced in February that Synthesis Live will be released in a limited edition Red Vinyl on April 2020. In March 2020, the World's Collide Tour with Within Temptation has been officially postponed because of the coronavirus outbreak. All tickets including VIPs will be valid for the rescheduled shows and more dates has been added and confirmed. Because of the worldwide pandemic, people, including artists, was forced to leave their work and stay at home. Is this working? <laughs> I am technologically challenged, so I'm, I, see, I see a face with hearts for eyes. That might be good. Is that a guess? Tell me, tell me yes if, I'm hap- if this is happening right now. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Amy Lee the band Evanescence, and uh, we are here together at home, um, partnering with Global Citizen and the World Health Organization to um, try to make it a little bit better, Um, staying home and promote that you guys are staying home, that we're all staying home right now and practicing social distancing. Um, But as a musician, I still want to make music for you. <laughs> and uh, we miss the shows that we're supposed to be playing live right now. So um, so we're here to make songs. That's what's happening. Hold on, let me get into position. During this time, Amy Lee streamed a very special live performance on Instagram for global citizens together at home, which raises awareness on the importance of social distancing. She performed four songs which includes Swimming Home, Good Enough, I Want to Dance with Somebody, and Stand By Me. It was in April 2020 that Evanescence have officially announced their new album, The Bitter Truth, which was released piece by piece throughout 2020. The first single, Wasted on You, was released April 24th, and it was accompanied with a homemade music video. Wasted on You was one of the four songs the band worked with Nick Raskalinix early this year. The song wasn't planned to be released as the first song of the album, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the band decided to release it first, saying, quote, The feeling and meaning change of what we had wanted to say right now. 
end quote. To celebrate its release, 50 people who pre-saved the track were randomly chosen to get a first listen of the song on a Zoom call with Amy Lee. Thank you guys wow. so much! I had to figure out how to unmute myself. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We love you. We love you. We love. Thank you. We love you. I love it. The music is amazing. So perfect. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Argentina, Amy. Argentina, Amy. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It makes me emotional to hear all your voices at once. I really miss being on tour and being able to have like the energy between us. Like I really miss that thing where we get to be together and experience this in a physical real way and I know that time is going to come again but I just cannot wait for it. Um, I can't wait to see you guys again. It feels so good to see you. Grazie. Grazie. As of recording, Evanescence's Wasted On You official music video has already reached the 5 million mark in YouTube.